Hey guys, it's Claire here and welcome back to another Take Action Daily video where I give you some quick tips, some quick ideas for your design business or your creative business and you have sort of one action step that you can take away and have a think about or put into action in five or ten minutes each day. Today, what is the first thing that you should be thinking about when you're first starting your business? That's what I want to talk about. When I am working with students, with new clients, with um, people who are just getting their businesses off the ground, I see too much faffing around on the stuff that doesn't matter. Making pretty logos, finding out how to build your website, getting your Instagram page up and running, uh, what else? Uh, all those sorts of things that yes, they're really important and you do have to do them and they do have to be good and you do have to get on top of them at some time, but it's not the most important thing to start with. The most important thing to start with, and this is something that my banking husband, my banker husband drummed into me when I was first starting my own business, was what is your fastest path to revenue? What is the quickest way for you to start making money and bringing money in the door? And he used to drum this into me all the time when I'd say, what do you think about this logo versus this logo? Although it didn't take me very long to actually get my logo. I got that in a minute, but I had definitely had other things where I would spend way too long thinking about the wrong things and not enough time thinking about the one thing that really matters when you're first starting in business, which is how can I get money in the door? Now, why is this so crucial? Because until you have money coming in the door, you don't really have a viable business. You haven't tested that you actually even have a service or a product that people want from you, that they're willing to pay from you, for uh, like pay you to do. And until you have that, there is no point wasting time on all the stuff that I know is fun. Um, and the other stuff, the other reason why I think people get stuck on, you know, logos and websites and all that stuff is because it's easier. It's easier, it feels self-protective to sort of still be, yes, I'm working on my business, I'm doing all these um, helpful things for my business, but it's not the bit that matters. It, the bit that matters is getting out there and actually trying to get clients and actually trying to get money coming in the door. And that bit's a lot harder than sitting creating pretty logos and pretty websites and stuff like that. So I think people procrastinate on the wrong, by spending time on the wrong thing, especially when they're first starting, and not enough time on that one really, really crucial question that my husband drummed into me and that I now share with the world all the time. He thinks it's funny that I'm now like, he sometimes sits in the other room and he's like, you're now sharing all the things that I told you. <laughs> um, but this one is really, really important. So uh, fastest, what is your fastest path to revenue? What is the quickest way for you to start getting some money in the door? And it doesn't necessarily have to be the thing that you're going to be doing forever. Like when I first started, my first revenue at all that I got from my design business back then after I started writing my blog was actually doing a styling project for a real estate agent. So I styled an apartment um, and that's a whole other story, which I think I've shared with you guys before, but I can share again at another time. Um, and I hated it. I hated every second of it. For me, that just wasn't my thing. But it got some money in the door that I could then invest in some other things and also just feel like I was uh, earning money doing something that I love, which was amazing. And just give, but gave me the confidence that this thing was going to work and that I was going to be able to do something with it. So if you are the kind of person who is spending too much time on those things like pretty logos and websites and Instagram pages and all those things. And yes, as I said, really, really important and definitely have to be done. But if you are spending too much time, you'll know deep down if you're spending time on the wrong things, you need to get out there and you need to find clients. Go out and tell people what you're up to. Go and find partners to partner with like real estate agents or other people to partner with. We talk about that in all other different videos. So that's not the topic for today's video. But the topic is less time on the procrastination stuff up front much, much, much more time on finding your fastest path to revenue. So that's today's tip. There's not really an action step except that I want you to do a bit of self-reflection, especially if you're in that first stage of business. And we can be guilty of it in later stages of business too, because we can get sidetracked. I know I'm a little bit like squirrel, squirrel, like when it comes to new ideas, I, I'm always having new ideas and I have to be disciplined about sort of staying on track and actually moving forward with different projects before I implement other projects. So fastest path to revenue on the project that you're trying to work on, give that one a go, get some money in the door. And the most important thing is that money proves that you have a viable business. You've got a concept, you've got a service, you've got a product that people actually want from you. So super important. So a bit of self-reflection for you today on that in terms of just whether you are the kind of person who is 
maybe spending a bit too much time on the wrong things. I'll leave you with that one question once again that I want to drum into you like my husband drummed into me when I was first starting, which is what is your fastest path to revenue? Have a think about that today. Hope that's helpful and I will chat to you in the next video. Bye for now.